Over the years, Lake George, located just 50 kilometres north of Canberra, Australia's capital city, has seen a diverse range of watercraft glide across its surface. Be it paddle steamers or houseboats in the late 1800s, to yachts and even jet boats towing water skiers in the 1960s, this occasional body of water has a long history of attracting curious explorers. Today, we join them. This hovercraft is one of the more novel ways to see the mysterious lake in all its glory. Over the years, the lake has built up an enviable reputation for stories of ghosts, strange happenings, UFOs and other unexplained phenomena. Stretching some 25 kilometres long, and 10 kilometres wide, it has been virtually bone dry for the past two decades. Indeed, just last year, this area, now submerged, was frequented by grazing sheep. The lake is a true enigma and the way its water levels appear to mysteriously fluctuate over both the short and long terms has fascinated scientists for years. At times, the water levels on one side of the lake can be up to a metre higher than on the opposite side. Indeed, in the 1820s, a party of explorers camped by the shoreline only to awake in the morning to discover that the water's edge was almost a kilometre away. Hydrologists explain this phenomena, which can occur in large and shallow lakes, as a seiche. It is caused by the prevailing wind blowing water from one side of the lake to the opposite side. So for our puzzled campers, the water didn't just vanish into thin air, it simply blew to the opposite side. That explains the short-term fluctuations in water levels. But what about over the longer term, which has resulted in the lake completely filling up, then drying out over a dozen times since records began? Legend has it that Lake George is connected via a series of underground tunnels to lakes in South America and New Zealand. As those lakes fill up, the water here in Lake George goes down. Of course, that is just fanciful rubbish. The fluctuation in long-term water levels of the lake is merely a result of rainfall and evaporation. With a number of creeks flowing into the lake, it can fill quickly during a wet season. As the lake resembles a giant saucer, it can also evaporate rapidly during a hot, dry summer. Local Aboriginal people call this place Wirawa, which literally means bad water. In 1956, five cadets from the Royal Military College at Duntroon drowned while sailing. In all, 16 people are believed to have drowned in the lake in modern times. Other strange tales about the lake concern a phantom hitchhiker and even a bunyip of Loch Ness monster proportions rumoured to inhabit its murky waters. Indeed, in 1866, the New South Wales Road Gazetteer even warned travellers 
to be wary of said monster. But there were no thoughts of strange aquatic beasties back in the mid 1830s when early landholder Terence Aubrey Murray ordered the construction of this canal to allow fresh water from the lake to flush out his then stagnant swamp, now known as Murray's Lagoon. The convicts toiled away for years on end to create this 12 foot wide, 14 foot deep and 150 foot long canal. Unfortunately for those convicts and also for Murray, it turns out that the lagoon was actually a couple of feet higher than the lake. And according to one version of the story, when the construction of the canal was completed, the water actually flowed from the lagoon into the lake instead of the other direction. Whatever the truth about Lake George, it certainly is an eerie and thought-provoking place for all who visit its shores. I'm Tim the Yowie Man. Thanks for watching.